Summer is one of the highlights here at Newport Aquarium. And of course, we have to be here and check out the first ever shark bridge. So we're here at it right now. It says dare to cross. I've got Kristen over here who's a biologist. Yes. She's going to lead me through. But first of all, we're talking about a huge tank of open water here. Yes. And um, we just got a below view earlier, but this is kind of a fan favorite up here. Yes. It's 385,000 gallons total. It takes about 90 minutes for our filtration system to turn the tank over once. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we did build our shark bridge. It took over 700 hours of, of labor to build it. It's over four miles of rope. It's 75 feet long and it can hold over 20,000 pounds. So, so we should two. be good. Yes, yes, it's two full grown elephants. So we should be okay. Oh my gosh, that'd be embarrassing <laughs> if we weren't. So I'm gonna <laughs> let you lead us across. Yeah. So talk to me about why this is just such a, an interesting, unique view for guests who come to visit. So it's a very unique view because it's a major uh, adrenaline junkie. Uh, okay. It does, it's a little wobbly, it's a little shaky. It's a little bit of a balancing act. Um, so you don't get a step over top of sharks every single day. Yeah. So it gives you a unique view of our animals. Uh, you get to see them all the way around, hence the Surrounded by Sharks exhibit. You get to see them from below, you get to see them from above, you get to see them from the left, from the right, all around. I can uh, imagine how many squeals you hear from oh kids yes. walking across all this. All the time. Maybe from moms and dads too. <laughs> yeah, and one of the best views is of our sandbar sharks. They do like to swim towards the surface of the water and you get that characteristic dorsal fin that just goes right out of the water and nice right through it. Uh, everybody usually thinks of jaws uh, but right. these guys, these guys, they have two sets of teeth, or, well, two different types of teeth. So they have one set up top that is made more for tearing and one set on the bottom that's made more for grabbing and holding on. Oh my gosh. And I'm actually going to walk us out really quickly. Um, we've got this big turtle coming through Denver. We didn't get to see him last time. Kristen, talk to me about Denver. Yeah, so he's about 28 years old. Um, he is a rescue. Uh, he was found as a little hatchling. His back left flipper is actually deformed a little bit. He lost part of it. We're not sure how. It's yeah. part of why he was rescued. And then when he was brought in um, and examined and rehabilitated, we realized that he actually has an air bubble that's trapped in his salomic cavity, so uh. underneath his shell. So he can dive, but he can't stay down for significant amounts of time, which means that he's not going to be able to completely fend for himself out in the wild. Well, it's okay. We're taking good care of him here at Newport Aquarium. Kristen is anyways. Listen, I have to tell you a story about Denver really quickly. In the below view where we were looking at the glass part of the tank, um, Denver would just run right into um, the glass, which was, you know, sad, but really cute as well. So you've got to come see Denver and the other sharks. You can also help name the two uh, new sandbar sharks. So we're going to work on that this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking the wheels are turning for me. I'm going to come up with something very clever. <laughs> just, just you wait on it. The pressure's Alex. on. <laughs> we'll see. Good deal, Alex. Thanks.